fairway out there. But he's in good position in this match. He seemed to have gone a little flat, but he made a great clearance to win that frame. And as I say, just showed his class there. That's unlucky. That could have finished anywhere. One. He's got to play this with a little bit of power. I've seen these rattled before. Just from one. Yes, I don't think that was a kick. He just caught the near knuckle. That's why he didn't go in. Didn't get ideal position on the red either. Well, I'm not sure whether you can see enough of that to pot it. I think the edge of the pack is just masking the, uh, the potting angle to play this one. Oh dear. That had to go in. He knew that he was going into all the reds. It started well in the first frame, but since then, one. then he's just lost his way a little bit. I just wonder whether he, he will get another chance, although Judd's just left himself a little bit low on this black. Again, if this red doesn't go here to the right corner, Eight. I don't think he's on one. Well, that was the attempted cutback from Vinny. But uh, the way things are, I think he might have got away with it. Judd might take this onto the green pocket. It's a cheeky one. Oh, it was only in the middle. Unlucky to finish there. What a pot. That cheeky, it was certainly naughty. <laughs> well, uh, he knew that he couldn't take the white to the ball, could he, with that red being there? Can we class that the first naughty one we're seeing today? <laughs> Well, he's just got to concentrate now. As I say, just to, to mind seemed to wander a little in the last frame. I think that can sometimes happen to a player if they feel they're not being put under pressure. But uh, he wants, of course, to get out of there as quickly as he can. He's got another two matches to play today. Possible four tomorrow. Well, this is a good chance, isn't it, now, to kill it off. 18. And you would expect him to do that. 19 26 27 
Well, he's living the dream right now. Judd Trump is the world number three, has been as high as uh, one in the world. Last season on the table, he earned just under 380,000. He's got various endorsements as well. 34. Not uh, 24 till next month. So uh, it's a great time to be Judd Trump. Has he just bought a new Ferrari as well? Quite possibly. I, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I thought he'd changed it, actually. I think it's important to enjoy yourself. It's not, you know, if, if you just play snooker all day long and that's all you do, then uh, you're not sort of living to the full, are you? No. It's a getting a balance, as in any job, between your work and your life. 41. There's no reason why you can't enjoy your success. I think I've over, overly committed myself a few times. Before now. <laughs> 46. Well, it's no doubt he is dedicated to the game. But uh, it's not the only thing in his life, and there's nothing wrong with that. So he's not far away from 52. clinching uh, a whitewash here. I think the first frame was probably the key one because uh, Calabresi started it's really well, but the minute he missed, his whole body language seemed to change. And now he's a couple of balls from defeat. Yeah, it was, it's like he was saying to himself, oh, I know what's, gonna come, what's coming now. 60. And unfortunately, it has. It's just getting greedy. Uh, it's kind of rubbing it in a bit. Well, good, sorry, Dave, I was going to say, a good display from Judd, though. You know, he, he's, he's looking for something, isn't he? Looking for some form. This might be the weekend. Yes, and th I think the audience here will be pleased to see him through because he does play a, an eye catching style of game. 69. Uh, I said the same about John Higgins earlier. It would be a surprise Seven. to see Judd Trump, I think, tomorrow. Well, you'll play the winner of Mark Joyce or Mark Owens, who haven't started out yet. They're due on the table, one of the tables, pretty soon. Trump, well, Judd Trump will be back whenever that one's done because he's through to the delight of this audience. Final break of 70 there, the highest of the match. And, uh, well, a couple of frames that certainly could have gone the other way. I'm sure the Aussie will feel that uh, if he'd won that first frame, he might have settled down a bit, but he didn't, and Judd Trump has done it. He's through to the last 64, a winner here in Rotterdam, finally by four frames to nil.